At Adler Plus Commune, uh, we're doing a project that we're calling Food Solidarity Network that has a lot of different aspects. Two projects that I'm involved with are the backyard gardens and the fruit harvesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, as you're talking about, we're harvesting fruits from trees in the neighborhood that would right. otherwise get wasted. Uh -huh. um, and there's a lot of fruit trees in Park X. We're doing this in collaboration with a collective called Le Fruit de Fondue, which is a ah collective throughout the entire island of Montreal, not just in the neighborhood of Park X, but in Ray and Plateau and mm -hmm. Little Italy, other areas. Um, and uh, yeah, the idea is to reduce the waste of food resources that are growing locally and also make them more mm -hmm. accessible to the people who live near them. Mm -hmm. It's one third, one third, one third, which is uh -huh. the classic model um, that is used by other fruit harvesting initiatives like ours around the country. Mm -hmm. um, so after every harvest, a third of the fruit we harvest is donated to the volunteers who helped harvest mm. it. A third goes to the owner of the tree who let us go on their property to harvest their tree. Mm -hmm. And a third is um, either given to a beneficiary organization, which could be a food bank. Mm -hmm. We try and give to Africa Femina because they're mm -hmm. close to us and they do a lot of work in the neighborhood also. Mm -hmm. um, and we also bring a lot back to the Place Commune where it's transformed by the team in the kitchen and then yeah, it's used in a mm -hmm. million ways. I get that you're, you're, it's, a f it's food security. I get that there's a, a, a community aspect to it that you uh, want to share these these fruits with folks. Um, but I guess I feel like there must be more. I mobilize people to participate themselves, like collectively in, in producing, using, sharing mm -hmm. their own food and being able to recognize and like um, cultivate food that does grow to this in this region mm. um, and it's true a lot of people don't know that you can grow things like sweet cherries and peaches and yeah. um, like these amazing fruits mm -hmm. in our climate but you can mm -hmm. and uh, in fact the people who lived in Park X for decades have known this and mm -hmm. they've already been using their skills mm -hmm. to plant all over the neighborhood plum trees, mm -hmm. peach trees, mm -hmm. apple trees, mm -hmm. pear trees, grapevines, mm -hmm. everything like it's so abundant mm -hmm. here and you just walk through the alleys in the summer and like there's mm -hmm. fruits falling from the sky left Amazing. and right um, and it's really something that people should be more aware of because it's right in everyone's backyard mm -hmm. and it's a shame that the um, ability to like care about the trees could get lost so that's another aspect mm -hmm. of it in Park X we're trying to help people who have a tree in their yard that maybe was planted like in the 60s or 50s by mm -hmm. the resident before them and they don't take care of it anymore we're trying to help them mm -hmm. like get that knowledge back be able to like learn mm -hmm. like what um, diseases or insects or what things might be hurting it, help them prune it, help them treat their trees so that it can produce better for the next seasons, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, be stronger. Um, and through doing all this, hopefully we're going to be able to help, uh, I don't know, help people help themselves mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. enjoy the food that they have.